Good morning. We're continuing to look at Proverbs chapter 6, and it says there, there in verse 16, there are six things the Lord hates, seven that are detestable to him. Number one on the hate list, haughty eyes. Number two, a lying tongue. God hates lying. In fact, the New Testament describes the devil as the father of lies. He's always lied. He's never spoken the truth. Jesus is described as someone who always speaks the truth. No deceit was found in his mouth, it says. Wow, what a wonderful privilege to follow Jesus who speaks the truth and who is the truth and can help us to learn to become truth speakers. It's not easy. All our life from being children, we've learned to lie. We've learned to fudge the truth and bend the truth to make it things sound better, to protect us from trouble, to keep people on our side. Our tongues are little fires, James says, that are set on fire by hell. Our tongues are so manipulative and so deceitful and they're connected to our hearts. Jesus said, out of your heart, your mouth speaks. And so our tongues are really important to God and having them purified so that they only speak the truth is the process of sanctification from the Holy Spirit. Let's ask God to help us today to become truth speakers. It says in the New Testament we should speak the truth in love. There is a way of telling people the truth in a loving, gentle, kind way, but still telling them the truth, still telling them how you really feel, still telling them what you actually think, still telling them the facts about how you see things, even if you're wrong. Of course it makes you vulnerable to be misunderstood. Of course it can cause some conflict, but Jesus never shied away from that in his own life and always spoke the truth. When the Pharisees were trying to catch Jesus out and presenting him with all sorts of tests, they said to him, we know that you're a man of truth and you don't care what anyone thinks. It's interesting, that was their opinion of him. Jesus obviously didn't mind what people thought, he just said the truth. It's a very rare thing to find a tongue these days that only speaks the truth. And even rarer to find a tongue that speaks the truth in love with wisdom. We need the Holy Spirit's help and he will help us. He gives us the gift of tongues. He gives us the prayers that come from our heart. He gives us the Psalms to pray and the scriptures to declare. He helps us become familiar with truth, with speaking truth, with declaring truth, with preaching the truth, and also with speaking the truth in our own life. God hates a lying tongue, a tongue that deceives its wife, its children, its husband, its friends, a tongue that just happily tells its boss a load of rubbish or that exaggerates and says things the way they're not, who frames and bends the truth to make it fit. That's so common, isn't it? I'll be with you in five minutes. I'm running late when you know you're going to be half an hour late. Or I was sorry I've been caught in traffic, which just is not true. We can say so many things that are just downright lies. Did you do that? No. Were you there? No. Um, one of our little children once, we saw them doing something and wanted them to uh, confess it and tell us the truth. And we said to them, did you do this? Come on, tell us the truth. And they were sort of squirming, squirming and then said, well, I didn't see myself do it. <laughs> oh, but they did. And uh, so did we. We know the truth about ourselves, so we should confess it to God. As we're confessing our sins to God and to others, we should be honest. And the Holy Spirit can help us. Let's ask Jesus to give us grace today to not have lying tongues in our mouths, but commit ourselves to speaking the truth as God gives us the courage and grace and wisdom to do it. Lord Jesus, we thank you that you said, I am the truth. Thank you that you prayed in John's gospel, You've, that you consecrated yourself in truth so that we could be sanctified in the truth. Lord Jesus, thank you for the Holy Spirit of truth 
who leads us into all truth. And thank you for your instruction to speak the truth to one another in love. Lord, help us do that today. Help us speak the truth to each other in love. Amen.